was too close to call. You actually beat that guy? You did it before the mold could spread to the Coliseum. Make sure to heal Mista's wounds, too. Once he's back with us, the pistols could get back to action. A bit to the right, number five. What? Could you move to the side a little? Uh. I might be just acting a little too paranoid, but he called himself Chocolata, am I right? He might actually be. You! You're just pretending to be dead, aren't you? Uh. I think I might even know exactly what you're thinking. Sure, no. Let's just say that you are still alive, and you can move your body just a few centimeters before I could actually get up there. Once you'd be able to take your fall, you'd escape through the trench, and then you'd be home free. You'd reactivate the mold, and then you'd be declared the victor, right? I think it's only fair if I'm brutally honest with you. You managed to puncture my right lung. My subclavian vein is severed. Four of my ribs are broken. My right humerus and my right hand bones have been destroyed. At this rate, I'm honestly unsure how I could get myself up there. However, I have the stand known as Gold Experience. A short range power type with a range up to two meters. It'd only take a moment, but once I get up there, I am more than enough to eliminate you. He, he's dead, Giorno. I mean, he took quite a wound to the head. Good point. If you continue to stay still, I will render you incapable of fighting. But I promise that you'll come to no harm. I'm giving you a choice. What will you do? I'm going to begin climbing now. Well, here I go. <laughs> stay right where you are! Look behind you! There! I took Misa and the turtle hostage! <laughs> Jorno, you idiot! While you were busy yammering, you didn't even notice my left arm circling from behind the tree! <laughs> now, I'm going to eliminate Mista. Now, what'll you do? Attack me or go save your beloved Mista? No, Mista! I'm still the victor! Take this! What? Uh, uh. What indeed. I was looking to buy some time. That bullet in your head of yours. Using my stand, I waited for the bullet to evolve and then returned to your wound. The piece that remained in your head was lured towards the bullet and then it returned to being a stag beetle. When I aimed it at the propellers, I imbued it using Gold Experience's life force. So that way, whether you lived or died, I could use that beetle, and then manage to try and find a way to finish you off. But, but you said that that if I stayed still, you you wouldn't harm me. Know your place. A deal like that is too good to be true for a man like you. <sighs> you sick bastard! <laughs> Bro.